The red light on your Xbox 360 power supply is a critical warning indicator that many users encounter. Understanding what this light means can help you diagnose and address power-related issues with your console. When you see a red light on your Xbox 360 power supply, it indicates a fault condition. This means the power supply has detected an internal problem and is protecting itself and your console from potential damage. The Xbox 360 power supply uses different colored lights to communicate its status. A green light means everything is working correctly. An orange or yellow light indicates standby mode, where the power supply is receiving power but not actively powering the console. A red light signals a fault condition. There are three main causes of the red light. First, overheating occurs when dust blocks ventilation or the power supply is placed in an enclosed space without proper airflow. Second, power surges can damage the unit since the Xbox 360 lacks built-in surge protection. Third, component failure happens naturally as electronic parts age and wear out over time. It's important to distinguish between the power supply red light and the console's red ring of death. The power supply red light specifically indicates a problem with the power brick itself, while the red ring of death appears on the console and indicates general hardware failure. These are different problems requiring different solutions. Given that Xbox 360 consoles are now over 15 years old, hardware failures like power supply issues have become increasingly common. Electronic components naturally degrade over time making the red light a frequent problem for users still enjoying their Xbox 360 systems. Remember, when you see that red light on your Xbox 360 power supply, it's telling you the power brick needs attention. Understanding this warning is the first step toward getting your console back up and running. First, check all power connections to ensure they are secure. Loose connections are a common cause of power supply issues. Try plugging the power supply into a different wall outlet. Avoid using surge protectors as they can sometimes interfere with the power supply's operation. If the power supply feels hot to the touch, unplug it and let it cool down for at least 30 minutes. Overheating can trigger the red light safety mechanism. Reset the power supply by following this sequence. Turn off the console, unplug the power cord from the console, unplug from the outlet, and disconnect the short cord from the power supply. Wait 10 seconds, then reconnect everything firmly. Ensure the power supply has adequate ventilation. Keep it away from enclosed spaces and remove any dust or debris blocking the ventilation slots. Test the power supply by plugging it into the outlet. It should light up. Switch off power to the brick. It should maintain the same light before discharging. Connect to Xbox, press power button for a beep sound, and the brick light should change from orange to green briefly. If the red light persists, the power supply needs replacement. Ensure compatibility with your specific Xbox 360 model. Original S or E models have different connectors and power requirements. Important safety warning, do not open the power supply. It contains capacitors that can deliver dangerous electric shocks even when unplugged. Opening it voids the warranty. If you're uncomfortable with any repairs, simply replace the unit.